Hey guys, welcome to another awesome After Effects tutorial. And today I'm going to teach you guys how to do the uh, Borderlands style character intro. As you can see, like this. Okay, so if anyone hasn't played Borderlands, it's how they introduce characters in the game, which is something like this. You woke the wrong dog. Ah, yes! Okay, so uh, I actually had someone message me about how to do this effect, and it's actually pretty simple. So let's get right on to it. Uh, take your footage, drop into a new comp. First, you need to find the point at which you want your intro to freeze frame, so about here. Then, you're gonna go to layer, sorry, no, edit, split layer. Alright, then you're gonna duplicate the top layer, which you split by pressing Ctrl D. Now let's change the color of this so we can see it a bit better, a little better. And let's rename this to Freeze Frame. Then I'm gonna right click, go to Time, and Freeze Frame. So now if we solo this, uh, you'll see it's just a still frame of that uh, point in time which you picked. Okay, now we're gonna make this last about... 4 seconds, so this is 2.12, so let's make it end about 6.12. I'll end bracket to trim the, the, the layer. Of course, uh, you need to extend the composition by however long you put your freeze frame at. So the original composition is 6.19, so I add 4 seconds, it's gonna be 12. No, what the hell am I talking about? 1019. Okay. And then you're gonna take the topmost layer, which you duplicated. This is the non freeze frame layer, so you're gonna line it up at the end. So, about here. Oops. You don't wanna solo that. So, about here. And you can see the flow becomes like this. Freeze frame, hold for a while, and then continue. Alright, so, how do we make it look like Borderlands and awesome? Well, first, you need to draw a mask around your character. So take the mask tool, and just start going around and drawing a mask. This doesn't have to be perfect, you know, it depends how much time you want to spend on it, but yeah, I'm just going to do it really quickly. This and then obviously you want to mask out the some parts of the background. So we draw other masks. And one here. Okay, so hit MM on your keyboard to bring up all the mask properties. And the second mask, which is this one, we want it to subtract so we can see the background. And this point seems a bit off. And then same for the third one, which was here. Okay, so now we just have a character. Now it looks really jagged around the edges, so we're gonna hit F and uh, select all the masks and then put the feathering up to maybe about 25. Yeah, 25 looks good. Uh, you can just uh, play around with it and see what you like. Alright, now we need to add a background, so I'm just gonna use some uh, stock footage here. Some uh, particles. Of course, we want to trim the particles as well to line up with our freeze frame. So I'll begin bracket here and then Alt and bracket. No, one more from the end bracket. Yep, okay. Okay, now we need to make it look cartoony. So, go back to your freeze frame there, go to the effects panel, I mean effects controls, right click, go to stylize, cartoon. And then you can see our effect is working already. So, you know, just play around with the uh, settings. Maybe you want more detail, less detail. More cartoony looking. Or shades, less shades, you know, just something you like. Alright, so just mess around with the settings here. Now, 
we need to add some text. Oh, before that, let's just color our background a bit. So, uh, hue saturation, drop it into the background. Uh, colorize, give it like uh, orange color. And this, this looks kind of nice. Okay. Now we can animate it a bit so it's not too boring. Hit S on your keyboard to bring up scale. Hit the stopwatch. Go all the way to the end. And then increase it to about uh, 128, 150. Yeah, it really depends on what you want. I think 125 is nice. Now we need to add some text. So take the text tool. Uh, line it up here. Just gonna type Borderlands. Uh, choose a font. Make it white. That's way too small. Move it up a bit. And it's still a bit too small. Okay. Uh, let's say I want to move it to about here. And then we're gonna create a new camera. Right click, new camera. Uh, yeah, 35 millimeter default settings is good. Uh, yeah, okay. Uh, of course, we want the uh, text layer to be 3D. Uh, if the switch is not here, you need probably need to uh, press this button right here to toggle the switches and modes. Then we're gonna animate our camera. Uh, wait, let's just trim the camera first, so it's only for the duration of our freeze frame. Same with our text. Okay, now we're gonna animate the camera. So uh, press P, mount position. Use the orbit camera tool to uh, set like the start. So uh, this is cool. Go all the way to the end, and then just animate like a. Like a pan or arm, which make it move, you know. So that actually looks kind of ugly, but you know, yeah. I just, I'm just doing this for the sake of the tutorial, guys. You can you can do much better than this. the sound effect which I have included in a link in the description because you know I care about you guys line it up and let's play it and there you have it guys borderland style character intro uh, and of course, the text could be a little flashier, maybe change the uh, blending mode to overlay or soft light. Or add. Good. But yeah, a lot of this is just uh, getting the look that you want and messing around with the settings. So hopefully I've helped some of you guys out with this effect. And if you have any questions or you'd like a specific effect to have a tutorial, uh, let me know in the comments. And uh, thanks for watching. Good luck. Have fun.